Hello, hello. Whoops, that focus. I'm using my son's camera. Hang on. I'm not sure. This might be manual focus. Hang on. Has that got me? I think so. Right. Good afternoon. Welcome to another video. A different one this time. I'm not going out riding. I'm not doing any Zwift racing. This isn't a WhatsApp vlog. This is intended as a very useful resource for anyone with SRAM hydraulic disc brakes. For the first time ever, I'm going to tinker with my brakes and I'm about to change the pads. So we're going to need a couple of things. So the brakes I'm working on are the SRAM Force hydraulic discs. I imagine this method is consistent through most manufacturers with a couple of minor tweaks depending on where certain fixtures and fittings are. But the basic principle, I'm pretty sure will be the same regardless of what disc brake system you have. So the tools we are going to need, first of all, a 2.5 mil Allen key, a T25, what's that called, Torx key, some pliers, a cloth or rag, and in my case, some plastic tyre levers. The reason for those I will come on to in a moment. So after having removed your wheel, you're going to want to first find a little retainer clip sitting on the top of the caliper just above the pads. You need to remove that, it should just ping off, there we go, and then take your 2.5mm Allen key, locate the pad retaining bolt on the inside of the caliper and just undo that. You then take your pliers and very carefully pinch the metal pin that's holding the two pads together and just gently ease them out of the caliper. As you can see, these pads have seen better days. There is literally nothing left. So they go in the bin. So I mentioned that I was going to need a couple of plastic tyre levers. The reason for that is that these new pads were supposed to come with a plastic tool used for separating the pistons inside the caliper. Obviously where the pads have worn, the pistons would have stayed in a more compressed state. So you need to prise them open in order to get enough distance to fit the new pads and the disc still to spin freely in between them. That tool wasn't supplied. However, these, when pushed together, make a very good shape for prising in there and just very gently, gradually widening open the pistons. So with the pistons open and the pads positioned on the spring clip, I didn't know exactly how to do this, so I just kind of copied the way they came out. But basically, this silver spring clip hooks around the actual braking section, the braking material of the pad and over the lip of the body of the pad and creates a kind of spring which you can compress when you pop it into the caliper, like so. Once the pads are seated back in nicely, simply reverse the procedure with the 2.5mm Allen key bolt. Doesn't need too much tension, just make sure it's got a bit of a grip in there so it's not going anywhere. Obviously, once it is tightened, you replace this retaining clip, which means even on very rough ground, that is definitely not shaking loose and your pads will stay nicely in place. If I can ever get this clip in. I dropped it in there. Oh, come on. Something had to go wrong, didn't it? Look, that, that little clip has fallen into there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what should be the easiest part of this whole procedure is proving to be the fiddliest. There we go, clipped in. That's it, right. I'll just pop the wheel back on before I show you a final tip on how to make sure your caliper is now nice and central as the disc spins through it. To centralize the caliper, this is where you need your T25 torque screw. You just loosen very slightly two screws holding the caliper onto the fork, just enough so it allows a little bit of movement. Then with that loosened off, you pull and hold your brake lever. The piston should then push the pads in to the disc with even pressure on both sides, moving the caliper into a centralized position. And while still holding that brake, just tighten it back up again. And that should be new pads 
nice central caliper. So there you go. When your brake pads start looking like that, hopefully this video will help you to fit a nice new shiny set. Please remember, if you liked this content, to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell thing, comment, give me suggestions of where I could have done it better, let me know how amazing I am if you thought that was amazing, all the stuff. Cheers.